Hello everyone, it's Omega, and this is my Let's Play of Super Mario Galaxy! Super Mario Galaxy for the Wii. Alright, let's get started. Alright, Super Mario Galaxy. Whatever I happen to just press start to play the game, press A and B. Alright. This file number one is my completed file. Uh, my 100% file. So we're going to be going to this planetoid. Now to select the me. Uh. Uh, uh, let's pick Yoshi. Cause Yoshi! I can't do a Yoshi voice. I can't do any voice. Boy, that is a big ass nose. That's his moon. Yoshi moon. I like how when you spin it enough that they close their eyes. Alright, let's get started. Every hundred years, a comet appears in the skies above the Mushroom Kingdom. The comet was so large one year, it filled the skies and sent countless shooting stars raining down. The toads brought the shooting stars to the castle, where they became a great power star. It should have been a very happy time for the citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom. That was the night of the Star Festival, held once every hundred years to celebrate the comet. Alright, Peach is something to give us. Hopefully that explains... <laughs> Hopefully it's good enough to explain Mario's goofy ass running animation. Anyway, starting off the game, you can collect star bits. That's what these little rock candies are called. Uh, by pointing at the screen with the Wii Remote. You move by using the control stick. Jump by pressing A. Double jump, press A again. Triple jump, press A a third time. And it's not really... I don't know, I wish there was a... I, or at least I knew a different term for it. Because when I think double jump, I think jumping in midair. Maybe that's just me or whatever, but... Good lord. This is just amazing. And I wish... Wish we had another Mario game like this. I just... I love this style of game, and uh-oh.
I'll be honest, I'm not a fan of Bow uh, the fact that Bowser doesn't speak. He does the whole uh, just roaring while he's talking. But I, after Sunshine, like I, I don't know, he just needed a deeper voice. I'm awake. I'm awake now. Oh boy, I have the feeling I'm not in Kansas. Okay. Finally, you're awake. Let's play. Well, this is a let's play after all. Come on, jump with A. I already explained the, that control. I didn't explain enough, though. Or did I? I I've already forgotten. Anyway, chase this bunny. Oh god, the bunnies. Let's play hide and seek. No, I'm let's playing Super Mario Galaxy. Come on, where are you? If you catch all of us, we'll tell you about where you are. Why do I need to play hide and seek just so you can tell me where the hell I am? You know that? That's just being a dick about it. Anyway, let's go find these bunnies. They're always in a set location. One's in the grass, one's in a pipe, one's in a crater. Also, collect as many star bits as you can. You're gonna need them. If you're 100%ing the game. Which... Unfortunately, I am. You caught me! Oh, I knew I should have hidden in the crater. Well, too bad for that one in the crater, because I'm not going to go visit it yet. Or am I? Well, it's right here, so I may as well. Come back here. Come here. You can shoot these things by pointing at them and pressing the B button. But A, they're moving all over the place. And B... You wasted star bits. You caught me. Oh, if only I hidden in the pipe. You know, y'all are just giving away. Look, you're ratting out your friends. What kind of friends are you, huh? Terrible ones at that. Y'all are the worst hide and seekers ever. Okay, there's you. Where's the pipe? Not this way. Maybe if I go. There it is. There's a pipe. 
could be a completely different pipe. Mario, uh, unclog the pipes. Good on you. Alright, come on. I'm gonna get you. Start the Benny Hill. Benny Hill. Benny Hill music here. Come on. I'm gonna get you. There we go. I can't believe I let myself get caught. Wow, you caught all of us. Maybe you really can help Mama. Like, Mama Luigi? That kind of Mama? Mama Luigi? Hang on. There we go. Uh, are you there, Mama? I've been watching you from here. This place is called the Gateway to the Starry Sky. My name is Rosalina. I watch over and protect the cosmos. To save your special one, you'll need the power to travel through space. Luma can give you this power. I will entrust you with his care. Yahoo! You have the ability to spin now. Shake the Wii remote. Mm -hmm. Disaster has struck us just as it has visited you. With Luma, I hope you can rescue the grand stars. May the stars shine down on you. I must go now. My planetoid needs me. Alright now. Shake the Wii Remote to spin into things that look breakable. You can even spin enemies to stun them. Or kill certain uh, enemies. There we go. Off we go. Yeah, just shake the Wii Remote to spin. I, uh, you can do it in the air. You can do it while crouching. Give yourself a little brick dance kick, like in Super Mario 64. But it's mostly useless. Hi there. Good to see you. I have some bad news though. See, I had a launch star all ready for you, but a mirror smashed it out. Can you believe it? You can't leave without it, so all, so find all the star chips to fix it. Oh, and be sure not to fall in the black hole. <sighs> yep, black holes. And <laughs> I'm not gonna get into the whole thing of why isn't this planetoid being sucked up by a black hole since it absorbs everything, even light. Because that's not a topic of discussion I'd like to get into. Anyway, what up? You earned one additional Mario. Where is he? Mario! 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 Where are you? Wahoo! Uh, Super Mario Galaxy looks great. And plays just fine. I'm gonna be honest though. I find Super Mario. Yeah, I'll save that for later. I dare not talk about such a game like that. Ow. You must die. You know, actually, if I feel it's a bit harder to jump on enemies on a spherical plane like this. Get me out of here! One of those enemies should have the key! You can shake the Wii Remote to spin them around and make them dizzy. Once they're stunned, just run into them. And kick them. Kick them while they're down. And take their lunch money. Or, one thing you can do is humming butt stomp them. Or ground pound if that's your cup of tea. Thanks! Would you mind rescuing my buddy in that base up there too? transform into a sling star just jump into me after I 
Transform! Transformers, Lumas in disguise. Anyway, now we need to find the key and gee, I wonder who has it. Maybe this big guy right here. Grab the key and immediately the law, the cage dissipates. I don't get it, but at the same time, I don't really care. Just as long as I can progress with the game. Yo. Hurry! Down here! Uh... Well, I am a plumber. Down the pipe I go. Alright, what now? We've been waiting for you. We? There's a grand star. We have to save it. They're using the Grand Star to power that awful machine. It looks like it's making something. Well, what's it making? We have to do something before the Grand Star's power is drained. Quick, find a way to stop that terrible machine. It's not that terrible. I mean, it's making its own, like, cosmic energy, I guess. Maybe they just want to open up a soda joint. You know, Cosmic Cola? Ow. They really want to protect their secret ingredient. Turn off the flip switches on the floor to shut down this machine. That's what I'm doing. Darn it. That's one thing I kind of dislike. Is that it feels way too easy to deactivate a switch sometimes. Not all the times, but just some of it. Alright, Grand Star saved. And immediately all its powers is restored. Let's -a go! Grand Star get. That's one star down. Yeah, the grand stars are giant stars, but they still only count as one. The beacon is lit again. It shines weakly, but maybe only as bright as a class six star. But at least the poor Lumas will survive now. Oh, thank you for saving the Grand Star. The, these star people are my family. They mean so much to me. <laughs> Welcome to the Comet Observatory. It's my home, and also home to the Lumas. You see, we travel the starry skies. We pass by this area once every hundred years, but we suddenly stopped in front of this planet. A strange force had latched onto our ship, pulling away star bits and our power source. Power stars. Our ship had lost power, so it entered a deep hibernation state in which it could not move. Those who took your special one picked up the power stars and discovered the power to cross the universe. Damn it, Bowser. Please, I have a request. This observatory uses star power to project images of the galaxy that are scattered across space and the and there is a chance and there is a chance we can use our few remaining stars to look for other power stars these round rooms are called domes we observe galaxies from domes such as these but 
but the only one that is working now, powered by the star power you restored, is the one, the Terrace. Please go to the Terrace and try to recover the power stars from the galaxies you can see from there. If we do that, we will be able to restore the Comet Observatory ability to fly like a starship. Then perhaps we can pursue, pursue the thieves who ran off with power stars. Alright, and with that, I'm going to call it a session for now. When I come back, we'll, uh, we'll go into the terrace and start collecting these power stars. See you guys then.